Now, in a joint effort to promote tourism and peace, leaders from Laikipia County pulled together to participate in a grueling carries held in Laikipia North, an area prone to bandit attacks. The event, dubbed the Laikipia Challenge, was a hair-raising event that saw the participants who included 40 drivers and nine motorcyclists drive for 180 kilometers, all in an aim to shed off the negative image of Laikipia North. <laughs> the dust that covered them from head to toe was not a deterrent. They were here for one goal, to change the soiled name of Laikipia North that has almost become synonymous with insecurity. In the past few months, the county of Laikipi has been hit in the headlines over rampant cases of conflict and insecurity, most notably the wars and wars between pastoralist communities and ranch owners or even inter-community conflicts. <laughs> Leading from the front, the leadership of Laikipi County immersed itself right in the race, choosing not to be mere spectators. The leaders drove for 180 kilometers in a bid to promote tourism ahead of the festive season that is just around the bend. Governor Derito Moredi drove an Isuzu Dimax, which he navigated together with his deputy John Mwaneki. Other Laikipia leaders who participated in the adrenaline field race included Senator John Kenya, Woman Rep Catherine Orogoro, Laikipia North MP Sarah Korere, and some members of the county assembly. They drove from Nanyuki to Lonyek, one of the areas considered insecure due to threats posed by armed herders. An opportunity for all of us to interact with the Lakipia North, to see the wonderful, fantastic scenery of uh, Lakipia North, to um, fellowship, to interact with the great people of Lakipia North, and uh, to showcase what Laikipia has to offer as a holiday destination, as an investment destination. The reason why we have organized this event is to bring people and take them through Laikipia North, where we have vast land, where we have grassland, we have beautiful uh, scenarios that are actually indeed, we have investors who have put up very nice um, you know, accommodation, very nice uh, uh, tourist centers, and this is the way we want to go. And I must add that uh, we have begun fixing the insecurity issue. Like Ipia, we have been in the news for all the wrong reasons, especially after the recent cattle killing in Sosiani Ward. And uh, as a county and county leadership with you, it's the high time that we tell the whole world that Like Ipia is not what was framed to be. And that the reality of the issues that are going on we must engage the community in peace talk, in activities that will help them to, uh, to tolerate each other and activities that will make them appreciate each other in a better way. So in this case, we have various partners, starting with the county government, leaders in the national government, trying to tell people that Laikipia is the home of the Big Five and is the perfect tourist destination, the home of Pajita, the home of Jogi, the home of, um, the home of uh, what you call Sorio Ranch, and uh, that Laikipia too is the home of, of all number of animals that you'd imagine are in this country. Through routes that are considered prone to attacks, 40 vehicles and nine motorcycles navigated the tough terrain, all in an aim to raise awareness about elevated levels of security. Ultimately, Governor Moredi, together with Deputy Imoneki, emerged at the top, having raced for four hours and 33 minutes. The race dubbed the Laikipia Challenge is primarily aimed at preaching the message of togetherness and cohesion amongst the more than 20 communities that call Laikipia home, sweet home. Carol Nderi, KT News, Laikipia County. Well, Kajado, Governor.